So let's go take a look at another example. And we're almost done with our first video here and we're hoping this is making sense. So write an equation that models a table below. Then use the equation to determine the values down below here. Okay, again, I don't wanna have to write this table all the way to the 25th or 36th term. Here we're using X and Y, so fine. Well, what do you notice is happening? What's the pattern as we go down on our Y values, right? We can think of X being like the number of days or months, like the other problems, but what's happening to the numbers here? Well, if you notice, we're just adding five. What's zero plus five? That's five. What's five plus five? That's 10. What's 10 plus five? That's 15. What's 15 plus five? That's 20, okay? Well, we know since we're adding by five. So since we're constantly adding by five, that's what the word constant means, okay? Constant rate means that we're adding or subtracting by the same amount every time. Well, are we adding or subtracting by the same amount? Yeah, so our constant rate is five, okay? Another word for this is just average rate of change. It means the exact same thing. Average rate of change is five we're adding by five the average amount we add every time is five we're adding by five every time all right after every you know one day passes by after one day passes by over here so our constant rate is five well what's a shortcut for addition multiplication so how can we write an equation for this well y is equal to what's the number that we're always adding by well that's five times x y is equal to five x Okay. And why does that make sense? Well, let's think about this for a minute. Let's do y is equal to what's 5 times 3. Well, that's 15, right? Why? Well, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. And let's look at our table, right? When it's 3, what is the value? 15, which is exactly what we get here. And then I'll ask you, how many times do we add to add 5 to get a 15? Well, look right here. We had to add it 3 times. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. So it took 3 additions of 5 to get to 15. And that's why we can write an equation as 5x. This is just telling us that we're adding by 5, a constant rate by 5 every time. All right, let's get to the last example problem here, all right? And I'm hoping this is really making sense. And now whenever you see some random equation, you are you can just go boom, and you see something like y is equal to 17x, maybe you'll have an idea of what this is actually doing to a table. So let's look over here. Let's write an equation that models a table below. We start off at zero, zero, fine. That's, you know, all fine and dandy. Well, what do we notice happening? Well, it looks like we subtracted four, right? Zero subtracted by four to get this negative four it's like back to a problem with the fees think about this as you have zero money in the bank and they're going to charge you four dollars you know, every month well how much will you owe after two months well another four bucks right because it's negative eight well if another month passes by how much will you owe well another negative four and you can see okay are we adding or subtracting by a constant rate well, yeah, we're subtracting. We are subtracting by four every time, okay? We are subtracting by four. The word subtracting is including the negative. All right, well, how do we write an equation? Well, what's the purpose of multiplication? Again, it's just a shortcut for adding or subtracting. So we can write, uh, well, since they're using X and Y, we can write Y is equal to, well, negative four, times x or nice and simple y is equal to negative 4x there it is why does this make sense well let's do what is negative 4 times 4 let's plug in 4 into my x value and we get negative 16 so y is equal to negative 16 okay well what does this mean again what's the purpose of multiplication it's a shortcut for adding or subtracting this is telling us that we're going to subtract 4 four times and that is negative 16 and look at the table how many times do we have to subtract four to get to negative 16 well one two three they're all right here which is four all right and there it is my friends there is our equation uh, negative 4x okay because we're subtracting by four every time so last problem last last one i promise you write a table for the equation below well we're gonna start off at zero for now, and this will change later. Okay, well, this is 10x. Well, if we know the purpose of multiplying, well, we know 
that when we multiply by 10, that means that we're going to always be adding by a constant rate of 10. So that means, okay, that means since the 10 is attached to the X, that we're always adding 10 by a, by a certain amount. So what's 0 plus 10? Well, that's 10. What's 10 plus 10? Well, that's 20. What's 10 plus 20 plus 10, 30. 30 plus 10, 40. And now over at 16, how, how would we figure this out? Well, we can take 16 and plug it into our equation. That's what we have this equation for. Y is equal to 10 times 16. And we get 1,600. Okay? And so 1,600, there it is. All right. And that's really how we can interpret this problem. That if we start at 0, we're just going to keep adding 10 every time because that's the purpose of multiplying. It's a shortcut for adding or subtracting. How can we verify this? Well, let's plug in 2 into our equation. I'll use a different color. Y is equal to 10 times X. So Y is equal to 10 times 2. Let's plug in 2 for X and we get 20. Why is that 20? Well, because this is saying 10 plus 10, which is in fact 20. Well, look at your table. How many times do I need to add 10 to get to 20? Well, I need to add twice, right? That's what the 2 stands for. We need to add twice, and then we end up getting 20. Well, how much do we need to add 10 to get to 16? We'll add 10 16 times, or 10 times 16. And I'll put parentheses. And that's how we got the 1,600, all right? So I hope this is making sense to you just with tables and equations of understanding what an equation even means in the most basic sense. Hopefully this makes sense. Tune in for the next video as we go into a little bit more deeper stuff. Take care.